your Weather Authority forecast with Greg Miller. Well, good morning and welcome back. Nice to have another nice day yesterday and more nice weather is on the way for today. But we have to burn off some fog and low clouds first. Lewiston this morning is socked in the fog. We're socked in the fog in Portland, back through much of York and Cumberland County and then southern Oxford County. So just allow some extra time on that ride into work for the fog to be burning off. Well, the sunrise will come up at 7-11, although many of us won't see that because of the low clouds and fog. Sunset today, 5-38. Things are uh, going to be uh, mixed for your weekend. We develop a partly sunny sky this afternoon, and we wake up to more fog tomorrow morning. That'll be slow to burn off, but at least some sunshine in the afternoon. Saturday, the better of the two weekend days. Clouds and drizzle start to move in here on Sunday, thanks to an east wind off the ocean. The Doppler HD is quiet, and it'll stay that way for today, so we're not tracking any showers. And because of the cloud cover, it's a little more mild outside. 36 Sanford, 45 in Portland. 43 Lewiston and 41 in Augusta. So you don't need the ice scraper this morning as we uh, have had the last couple. Well, here's where the fog is settled in. Look at our reduced visibilities from Portland up through Lewiston and then back through Freiburg. This really is where the fog is worse. Notice the fog not too bad, although there are some low clouds along the mid coast as well. Of course, all eyes are on where exactly Sandy is going to be going, and we're going to be tracking her, uh, of course, uh, throughout the course of the next couple of days. We keep getting new information into the computer models, and so the computer models keep spitting out different solutions. So here's the latest information that we have. Sandy uh, holding hurricane strength all the way up the eastern seaboard because she's going to become what we call a hybrid storm. It's not going to be purely tropical. It's going to be a mix between a tropical system and a nor'easter. The yellow line is the official hurricane track, bringing it just south of New Jersey. Uh, the blue shade is our cone of uncertainty, so there's still a lot of uncertainty in the track. Obviously, if it tracks closer to us, we would have worse implications here in Maine. Here's one computer model solution. This is actually the U.S. model that we use, or the GFS solution. Uh, the uh, high pressure that we have over us right now is one of the mechanisms that's going to help steer sandy back towards the coast so it's kind of a different scenario the storm is coming up the eastern seaboard and then we'll make a hard left and head back towards the united states these lines that we're seeing are lines of equal pressure and when they get close together that's when you have strong gusty winds now if this track were to verify uh, bringing the storm just to ourselves, we would actually have hurricane force gusts here in maine if the storm is a little farther south, as the official track for the Hurricane Center is right now, we would still have tropical storm force wind gusts. Keep in mind, this is going to be 36 to 48 hours of these strong winds with heavy rain at the same time. That's why we have big concerns not only for some power outages, but along the coast, the tides are astronomically high because of a full moon. So we're going to have some big problems uh, with some flooding at the coast as well. Today, things are quiet. We're burning off the fog and low clouds to a partly sunny sky. Temperatures will be back to right around 60 degrees this afternoon. Low 60s back through New Hampshire, a little farther away from uh, the ocean. More fog develops overnight tonight, and so we wake up to fog and low clouds tomorrow morning. Again, the sun will be slow to burn off the fog, but I think we at least see a partly sunny sky in the afternoon. Temperatures will generally warm back into the 50s by lunchtime. We should be uh, topping out near 60 again tomorrow. Now on Sunday, the east wind really sets up shop, and as a result, we wake up to low clouds and fog. I don't think it's going to burn off at all Sunday, and some drizzle and a chance for showers that day too. So nice today, 61 degrees once we get rid of the fog. More fog tonight, fog early tomorrow, then some sun in the afternoon. At least some sun anyways, temperatures in the 60s. So clouds and drizzle on Sunday. So the time frame for our storm is Monday and Tuesday, especially Monday night into Tuesday. That looks the worst of it when we'll see the strongest winds and the heaviest rainfall. It's going to linger, though. We're still seeing effects of the storm on Halloween day, so it's really a three-day event. Stay tuned to the forecast. We're still four days out, so a lot can change with the forecast track of the storm. Of course, we'll continue to have updates as we get them, guys.